A local program teaching girls of color about drone technology has gone global. We first introduced you to the nonprofit Our Genetic Legacy in 2022, which uses drones to trace the history of African Americans. ABC 10 News anchor Neil Watson followed up with the program following their trip, recent trip, to Africa. From flying drones in San Diego to flying drones in Accra, Ghana. We learned so much about our history. These girls were among 20 to go on the 10 day trip. The group also included girls from Fancy, a local mentor and leadership program for girls of color. In Ghana, the girls were able to use skills learned during our Genetic Legacies drone program to map and capture historic sites related to the transatlantic slave tree. I wanted to show how, you know, we can take this technology, this tool and go to Africa to, you know, include our voices and historical narratives and the voices of so many that have been silenced. The girls also visited museums and slave castles where slaves were held before they boarded ships. They described the experience as eye-opening and somber, but powerful. I felt very empowered to be a black person um, because they went through all of that and we still rose as a people. The group also partnered with Ghana Girl Guide to teach Ghanaian girls about drone technology. They saw how like we kind of put everything all together and even how to configure the drone before it goes off to take off. The girls say bonding with the Ghanaian girls was also a highlight of the trip. So they were showing us like a hand game that they play all the time and we were trying to figure out how to play it. It was super hard. In the end, the girls say they walked away with a fresh perspective on history and how technology can be used to tell it. I was like, wow, this is this is really something you could do all over the world and get girls into STEM doing something that they love and it's fun and you can make money off of it. The next stop, London. Nia Watson, ABC 10 News. The girls will present the data collected in the in Ghana at the Elementary Institute of Science on January 27th.